Happy Friday, and I have something very special to announce. Today is Turtle Friday. So our art projects today are based on turtles and are made from things found by the ocean. I've made two different versions of this, one for beginners and one for more advanced students, but as always, I want you to take creative liberties and make this your own project. Let's get started. All right, so I always get my ideas from somewhere. You saw briefly that idea, but I always try to change them. So I thought for Turtle Friday, I'd look into that huge collection of shells that I have, and I'm simply going to use a hard piece of cardboard. Now you can use a cereal box for this. The inside of it is a nice neutral color or um, here I've just got a piece of um, mat board scrap that I found. Um, if you have a piece of foam core or just any cardboard or hard surface will work. If you don't have that, as thick a paper as you can find. Sometimes um, packaging that things comes in, like the packaging that labels come in or office supplies will have a nice um, swatch of something that you can recycle. So I just put some really simple shapes there. Whenever I use watercolors, I try to blend at least two colors. So here I challenged myself and I put in yellow and green. We wanna give a little dimensionality. And I always try to do different values again, lights and darks there. Just keeping it real simple and fun with this first one. You can see how easy it is for any age group to do this project. Um, you could also use a hot glue gun or a stronger glue, but I just wanted to show that you could use really any kind of glue for this. It does help to have a shell that's a little bit more flat. So here again, just putting, putting some paint in, using those different colors. And you can see I keep adjusting his head because <laughs> I feel like he's a wonky, wonky headed. But really, the imperfections don't matter. Um, I um, just kind of kept working on him. Again, made a little outline there um, using a darker value. Remember the less water, the darker the color. Make sure you're always drying that brush if you have too much water. I also tried to go all the way under the shell, which didn't always work there. Put in some black over those little turtle eyeballs. I feel like Cynthia might be a nice name for this turtle. Okay, and then I just went ahead and I also have some sand. I made a little squeegee out of a post-it note so I could smear that Elmer's glue around on there. All over the background. I tried not to smear any on the turtle because I wanted it to look like there was sand underneath him. So again, spreading it all over. And then putting my sand on. I'm trying to remember where I got this sand from, but there's a lot of other stuff in it. Sticks and everything, shaking it off a little bit there. Oh, adding a little bit more glue. A little more sand. And there he is, all done first turtle done for Turtle Friday. But of course I couldn't be done there. So I took that original idea, printed off some more pictures because I really wanted to make this my project. So I was thinking about a time in Hawaii when I swam with three turtles. So I am going to call this piece a three turtle day. And these were really unique shells that I found in Florida and they had little holes in them. So I went ahead and poked holes in my mat board this time and went ahead and tied those on with strings so that they kind of moved back and forth. 
and um, you'll see I went ahead and put in um, three turtles for this one and did a little bit more advanced painting um, in this one in the palette of my watercolor I went ahead and mixed black and green together to make a darker um, shade and I know I picked out names for these turtles I'm picking out new names. I have to go back. I wrote them down so I wouldn't forget. Dave and I were on Maui for the first time and we spent the afternoon at the beach and I've always been kind of scared of snorkeling but ever since I saw the turtles in the water with me I have been a huge fan of snorkeling. So here I'm just filling in my shapes with different values of watercolor. You can see how I modify the shapes as I go. And I was really unhappy with this turtle that I'm doing here. But as I tell my students, um, sometimes a mistake is an opportunity. And I started thinking about it as each of these three turtles having a different personality. So as I was kind of naming them and working on them, um, I thought, you know, this one is just really spreading its yeah, flippers far. Wait, are they flippers or are they are they fins? No. Oh man, I'm not. Le they must be legs and arms because turtles have or legs. They're all legs. Oh boy, I'll get back to you guys on that one. So I kind of gave them each their own personality, each their own thing. There, when I got that dark black on there, I was thinking, oh my goodness, I ruined it, but um, I just kept reminding myself, each turtle's got its own personality, we're doing good. So I gave them, just kind of kept this one more monotone, and monotone for my art students that don't remember is kind of one color and lots of tints and shades, so I didn't add a lot of color to that bottom turtle. Just keeping them each unique. And there's definitely some things that still bother me. You can see how they swing around because that one, that one uh, arm on, on the middle turtle looks completely detached now. But um, I'll go back in and I'll kind of attach him later. My goal for this YouTube is to figure out how to add background music. So you don't just hear my voice. Um, it's mixing up a new color there. And just doing a little stippling at the end because I always like my detail dots. Um, I like this picture because when I pick it up then it kind of swings and swishes. So there's my three turtles. It's a three turtle kind of Friday. Actually, four turtles. I feel like one of their names was Ferdinand. Well, maybe I will get through that pile of seashells by the end of the school year, but it's good to have a collection too. They're pretty just sitting there. Have a great Friday, and I'll see you next week as I record more awesome movies for you to follow along with at home. Thanks for joining me.